I know manpower is getting low, but we have the the political clout to change when need be. I don't really want to change to the next level. Uh, where is it here? Service by requirement, uh, which is all adults serve, which will greatly reduce everything else. Yeah, so the longer I can stay away from that, that's the better. But when it comes to it, I will do it. Tanatuva has capitulated. Wonderful. We have also bombing in Central USA. So that means we can launch a nuclear missile over here. We can uh, probably do it in Chicago and also Detroit. We have two. So let's do one in Chicago and one in Detroit. So here they come. Yeah! Nuclear missiles, atomic bombing of Illinois. And how about Michigan? No, apparently no one gives a shit about Michigan. And now the national unity is down to 29%. How beautiful. That's what happens, America. So, in order to motivate them a little bit more, I will use my remaining strategic bombing planes that I have gathered, which is quite a few. All the remaining Lincolns will be sent to the East Coast to bomb the East Coast. Strategic bomb the East Coast to make sure that supply lines and stuff like that will be cut off for them, since they have so many troops up here. And just to, in general, mess around with them. Uh, at least 75% air superiority in the region. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And now we have free civilian factories, even. So, hmm, what to do? What to do? Well, to do, we can uh, do the following. We can build an airbase here to make it easier for our, our friends. We can make radar stations in here as well to make it easier upgrade all the radar stations to the max here and uh, do one in Yucatan upgrade these ones and uh, apparently I have everything here okay no it's been taken by the Americans of course that explains everything it really does explain everything so Allenbrook can we attack now well, you, apparently you have reservations, despite me having handled everything. Or is it that you want to have a long areas in its path? Well, you do have that, and now you're doing the mission. So, well, I suppose everything is fine in the end. And in Mexico, it's a very slow crawl, but still going fairly well. Uh, Americans losing some air ships, I mean. It's good. This was less good. This was better. And 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 this was much better. Hopefully they don't have troops everywhere. So I can land there in peace and then send more troops. Oh, apparently they do have troops everywhere. Son of a bitch. That's not good. To have troops seriously everywhere. No, they managed to sink seriously. Oh no, that's just that's just unfair. Well, fine, Alan Brook. You know what? We're going to retaliate on them. Just land over here, whatever. We'll take them out. Don't you worry, Ellen Brook. Don't you worry. More and more troops can now actually join the front since it's expanding. Three civilian factories, unfulfilled import requests. It's fine, I don't care. What I want to know is how is the East Coast doing? Well, we're losing some strategic bombers. But overall, we are doing fairly well on that front, I would say. We could even pelter them even more. Okay, see, here we will have some fun. Fun is so subjective. Uh, but what we can can do is use some Lancasters as well. 600 of them. To fill up the need. And send them to the east coast. 
just uh, bomb various towns and create even more air superiority for us. And then we're rapidly building up an airbase in Quebec, which is good, because then we can use Quebec for, as a front line. And that is always good. How's it going with that airbase, in fact? Well, it's going pretty well. One next one being completed tomorrow. And now is the Minotaur class already as well. Which is, uh, you know, not really becoming too crucial, but might as well change, right? Okay, with that done, we really have very little else to improve. As of now, maybe the recon company, why not? Most of everything is, you know, where it needs to be. Alright, everything will go to Allenbrook. You have done an excellent job so far, but Allenbrook will take over from here and push them back to the American border. There we go. You can do it, Allenbrook. You have the men. You have the resources, you have the capability, and you have my faith. My unyielding faith in your ability to get it done. Mongolia has capitulated. Thankfully, I have friends to do my work for me. Siam is doing it. But let's see who will actually well, keep the territory afterwards. Might not necessarily be them. Uh, 700,000 left before we run out of manpower. Might as well just get some integrated. Like, just get the remaining research done now. It's 1946, so we are a bit ahead of time. Let's remove also this failed invasion. Oh yeah, speaking of failed invasions, how's it going for Harold Alexander? He is now in place. Um, he will use Hong Kong as a base. No, Reginald Chase Madden is dead. Uh, we will need to reach Manila. We will definitely need to reach Manila. But to do that we need some ships, basically. Uh, so let's use this one. Which will now have the mission of guarding you know, the Philippine Sea and everything surrounding it. And now we have so many, so many things we can use for, I don't know, more nuclear reactors perhaps? More radar stations? I don't know. I don't bloody know. Uh, maybe upgrade the airbase here? Sure. Radar station? Sure. Do we actually have the airbase here? No? Do we? Is it in Montreal? Or is it's over here? Damn it, I need it. I want it. St. Lawrence. I knew it was St. Lawrence River. Well, I didn't know. I, I thought it was. And it was. So I was right. Bernard Montgomery is, is making a lot of progress. And more and more of his divisions become available to him. It's always nice to see, you know experience and skill being rewarded so heartily. So we will reward him even more by giving him an extraordinary mission. And he seems to be, I mean, he seems to think he can do it. He seems to believe he is capable. Well, the good thing is that America, with their incredibly low national unity right now, will be very susceptible to actually surrendering fairly early. Due to... Uh, them just needing to lose, you know, 29% of their important cities. Which is doable. It's by far doable. And we have swimming in resources. Except we're not swimming in oil. For some reason we can't get more from Venezuela at the moment. Don't know why, maybe they are being a bit pesky and uh, destroying our convoys along the way. Interrupting that way. That's, that's a possibility, definitely. Oh, and I, I kind of want to see the advance here, because now the American army is just in a full route. And how's it going on the East Coast? It's going so well that we actually have air superiority. 
but we don't have air superiority enough to drop nuclear bombs on Philadelphia and other cities along the way. On the, along the way, we need more need more airplanes for that. Luckily, we are grabbing that airfield, haven't we already? We have grabbed it. We have the airfield. We can now actually send some fighters to do our wonderful, wonderful work there. Which kind of fighters though, I wonder? Well, I wonder that too, and it will be Spitfires. It will be as many as they can field, 800 to be specific. And they will go to the east coast and uh, do some, you know, stuff there, fun things. When is the other nearby naval base? Well, I do have airplanes here ready for redeployment. I just need to figure out where the hell naval base here would be placed. Or air, air base here, I mean. Because I know I have built this. I just don't know where it is, the icon is placed. So if we look here on this region, of Quebec. I do have an airbase here. An airbase of four. Or is it in enemy territory? It's not possible. It's impossible. It can't be in enemy territory. Can it? No, it needs to be somewhere here. I have built it. It needs to be an icon somewhere for naval base. You know, I can probably... Oh, there it is. It's way over here. Why haven't I looked at it? Well, let's add some more Spitfires to that, then. About 800 more of them. And add them to the East Coast. Cannot do that. That is fine then, I suppose. No, you cannot reach there. Well then, just be over there. Whatever. We have everything when it comes to airplanes. We have, don't we? Almost. Flying Fortress we can continue with. And meanwhile, uh, you know, Bernard Montgomery can just do his work. And so can, uh, you know, Alan Brooke with his work. Americans are being pushed back on two fronts at the same time. They have never been in this much peril before. And we have reached mainland USA. This is important. This is important. And now we have the ability to launch nuclear missiles on or drop nuclear bombs rather on cities like uh, philadelphia cities like new york cities like boston cities like washington what else can there be in america that's worth bombing apart from these cities uh, i want to you know pittsburgh perhaps no is pittsburgh worth it i don't know new york not worth it providence not worth it. I want to have cool cities. Sorry everyone that lives in Providence. Sorry everyone who lives in Pittsburgh. But I want cool cities. And with me, my naval or air superiority I can do like... I don't know. Charlotte? Charleston? I don't know. I don't know. Baltimore? No, let's do Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, you have been selected to be cool enough to drop a nuclear bomb on it. I hope you feel better now. Uh, Columbus. Honestly, is Columbus a big city? I'd never hear about it. I've heard more of Cleveland than I have heard of uh, this other place. Well, Chicago and Detroit have already bombed, so there's got to be something else to bomb. I'm too far away to bomb uh, Los Angeles and whatever else. Let's drop on Miami. Can I drop on Miami? Oh, we don't have enough nuclear bombs for that. Well, one day we will. I can inv invite Peru to our faction, and I will do so. Welcome, Peru. And uh, let's watch the nuclear bombs fall on uh, Americans. Boom! Bye bye, Northeast. That's probably what I will call, you know, this episode. Bye bye, North Northeast. New England vaporized. Well, this is only New England, I think. But rest, rest of whatever. This place, where everyone lives in America, who doesn't live on the West Coast or in the South. Where everyone lives, or in the Midwest. So, where some people in America live. 
has just been bombed. And they're down to 20%, which is the lowest I will get to. And the Americans must be very disheartened right now with so much so many dead. So much loss. Let's do some rocket engines. So much death and destruction. I mean, and there's no way for them to repair things here either. Let's see here. Damage levels 8. Damage levels 7. So things are just very, very damaged in, in these states. That will not work out well for them. I have the ability to repair it whenever it becomes it comes into my territory. They just don't have the same luck. Or skill, I suppose. Or willingness, for that matter, to repair it. Meanwhile, in the south here, they have not really... Okay, I, I have some things I need to do. I need to use some of these troops to push through here. I really want that to happen. I just want this encirclement to be a thing. Maybe I'm messing up with my generals too much. It doesn't matter if I get into encirclements. Well, Peru, you can join the war. See, the Peru have observed Peru. An intelligent statesman knows where the wind is blowing and will join the right way. Also, now we can uh, bomb that place which I found good enough to bomb. Oh yeah, Miami. We will bomb Miami. Here we go. Miami is being bombed. Boom. Yeah, Miami is gone. Everyone is dead. Everyone is dead. And over here things are just going well. I will add a separate invasion here of... Um, this is not Nova Scotia, is it? It's uh, the Maritimes. Oh, yes, actually Nova Scotia. So these are the Maritimes. New Brunswick. This area of Canada. We will just invade it and take it. It'll be fine. Uh, might as well upgrade my Marines. Doesn't really matter too much. Victory will be won. And this... How the hell did he get so far? And then cut, completely cut off. Either way, let's, we need to save him. He needs to be saved. Well, I mean, I gotta say though, despite the unfortunate, as you say, we the, the, we weren't really planning on being attacked at that moment. Let's just say that, um, or being dragged into battle or war with U USA and Canada at that point. I was the one supposed to declare war, and I'm not them joining into my pre-existing war. But overall, things have uh, turned out fairly okay after all. Despite everything, you know, I mean, the losses are pretty high on the British Empire, to be fair. It's not like it's been a walkover. It's not been a default, and uh, things are still, you know, have to take it step by step. But we can, you know, bomb Norfolk, so everything is fine. And we can also bomb, uh, I don't know. What is this, Charlotte? Yeah, bomb it all. Whenever I have a nuclear bomb, just, just use it. So how willing are, is the United States to surrender now? Well, despite us moving in there, they're only 4% towards capitulation. I mean, with taking Boston and stuff like that, I'm sure it will, will change. will change their minds. Yeah, Boston taken. That ought to make a dent. That made a sizable dent. Holy shit. That's only 23% towards capitulation. And you know, like New York is just on, right on our doorstep now. Canada, on the other hand, they gotta be close. Canada, which is the leader of the war, funnily enough, is 53% towards capitulation. I would assume higher than that. Just from the general state of things. But I suppose they still have Toronto left and whatnot. Perhaps I should drop a nu uh, nuclear bomb on, on them as well. 
Can I do that? I can, in fact. Let's see here. For this experiment, which is not really an experiment, it's more like doing what I've done before, but more of it. Let's get some more strategic bombers, put them in Western Canada so I can, you know, nuclear bomb Vancouver and whatnot. This, this is to lower their morale and willingness to fight. Okay, fence information or... Let's go for it. We can go for both, so let's start with it. This is more relevant at this point. And uh, at least, yeah, at least one strategic bomber in range. Whenever they have been deployed. Which is soon, 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 soon. Is New, New York being taken? New York is being taken. British troops are entering New York. Beep, 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 beep. CNN, I uh, mean CBS, no, who gives news? CNN, sure. Um, let's see which day it will become. When will, oh, okay, so they were a bit preoccupied. So let's just drop a nuclear bomb in Vancouver. No, I don't have uh, air superiority for it. Oh, there we go. Now there will be. Okay, nuclear bomb in Vancouver. No. At least one strategic bomber. Wasn't there strategic bombs I used? Oh no, they're not in range of the actual city. Well... Shit. Okay, let's then drop a nuclear bomb in Saskatchewan and whatever. It's fine. It has the same effect, essentially. Of lowering... Or maybe it, maybe it doesn't. Maybe we should have focused on, you know, one of the major cities. Like, um, Winnipeg. That seems like the metro... You know, metropolis of Canada, right? Apparently, it does not change. Oh no, they had so such high, you know, national unity to begin with, I assumed, and that for sure we need to bomb something more interesting. Is there anything interesting up here in northeastern Canada? I don't think so, from the looks of it. Oh, oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. I could bomb Toronto before we reach it. If I get a nuclear bomb in time. Which I probably won't. Yeah, so... Our invasion, or our taking of New York was a bit delayed, yeah, but... It will soon happen. And in this pocket near Providence... Many American men gave their lives... But eventually had to surrender to superior British forces. American military is, you know, in a disaster like stance at the moment. Knowing that death is around the corner, things are just not going as expected. Buffalo. Mm, buffalo wings. Wait, is there no city here in Saskatchewan? In Alberta? Uh, not in range. It's just a shame. I just need to grab more territory nearby so I can get in range. To bomb Vancouver. Okay, New York is taken. I mean, there was no CNN coverage on it, on it but... I think you, you will understand anyway. New York is taken, and that means that suddenly the Americans' will to fight is very low. Very, very, very low. Let's just add all the divisions to this. Just keep on moving. Well, I mean, things are still moving forward, which is good. Take Long, Long Island as well. And we will need to take New York. New York, I mean. I always confused that with New York. I thought it was just, uh, you know, some local way of saying New York at first. New York. Again, I'm just an ignorant person, living my ignorant life. Life. Oh god, I can feel myself getting a bit tired. I mean, it's been a long recording session so far, but it's been so exciting I haven't been able to quit. 
And for well, for you, this will be you know split up into many different small parts. For me, it's one long journey. Long one, long long journey, long. <laughs> see what I mean? Long journey. Okay, Colombia suddenly joined the American Concordat. Notice everyone how some people like Colombia don't know when to quit or when they have been bested. And America, for some reason, has spent so many men on attacking Colombia. And Venezuela, Venezuela, I mean. It doesn't seem appropriate, really. And meanwhile, her... Wait, why are you so outnumbered? Things are going so well for you, Bernard Montgomery. So why do you consider yourself so outnumbered? Especially when the Americans are about to surrender, anyway. Perhaps it is up here that he's feeling a bit outmaneuvered. Or it is here that he's feeling outmaneuvered. Considering the amounts of American forces over here. But let's try to do our own. Nope. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not at all. Can we just take... Um, well, Philadelphia has been taken. Oh, America is so close. Or right, did they surrender? United States has capitulated. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! United States has capitulated. Which means that... Wonderful, this is even better. Look what I can do now. I can call in some uh, favor from, you know, the Halifaxes. Deploy. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Get over here. And then, whenever when they are ready... Vancouver will be a memory, a shadow, long forgotten. So yeah, you know, Colombia, you made a grave error, apart from these Americans, which are apparently still operative. Oh, I think we just need to cancel all the Canadians that are left. And get on with our business. So can Vancouver finally be bombed? Yes it can. And can we now bomb Edmonton? Yes we can. Good and good. I suppose good and better, you could call it. And do we have another one that we can launch on some unsuspecting place? Let's launch this over here in Winnipeg again. Just to encourage them to surrender faster. Oh, see, Canada's capitulated. So that's good. Canada's capitulated. Who is left on the list? Australia. Well, the defeat of Australia will have to wait for another time. We have a couple, like, basically at this point, we have managed with our world conquering tour is just a couple of countries left is australian invasion it's taking care of philippines is then mopping up the world and make it a clean place so that will happen in the next episode and the next recording more to the point i hope you've enjoyed the invasion of america and uh, feel i have sufficiently followed the rules of combined arms for example and making use of my air force navy and army in conjunction i hope you've really enjoyed the bombing of the East Coast, the simultaneous four nuclear bombs, five nuclear bombs actually, landing on various American cities at the same time. I found it to be exquisitely beautiful myself.